When I get up in the morning, I wake up, I get ready for the day, and I head to work about an hour before patient starts. Really essential to get to work ahead of time because there's a lot to do within the day, even before the day starts. As soon as I arrive, I clock in, I go through a mental and physical checklist of symptoms related to COVID-19. I take my temperature at the beginning of the day and make sure it's within the parameters. And we always change into our scrubs when we arrive at work. We never wear them home. Change into scrubs and shoes that only get worn in the office. Scrub cap, mask, always. I always try to be a little bit carefree, make everyone around me laugh, smile. It makes the day just a little bit better for everyone. And then I put on my superwoman cape, my scrub jacket. It makes me feel like I am superwoman and ready to help anybody that needs help. Front desk, dentist, hygienist, you call my name, I'm there with a smile and happy to help. Then I go and get the sterilization going. Put on gloves, make sure that everything in there was late for the day. Fill the ultrasonic, take out the dirties that were getting rinsed and I bag them, date them, and then we load the autoclaves in a very specific way. Make sure we don't overload them. Make sure there's enough water in them. And then we get a little tag and we date it and we mark it. And we put it in there, make sure that everything gets sterilized properly. And then we put on clean gloves and empty the autoclaves that are finished. Make sure those tags are within the And then tray set up. We always have our trays set up ahead of time because sterilization is a very high traffic area and we need everything to be running smoothly. And once that's done, I then head to my room and time to get my room set up. Turn on my computer, go through the day, check on all the patients that are coming, no surprises. Then I wash my hands and I get my barriers on my room. The more barriers, the better. And then I set up for my first patient. There's a lot that goes into setting up for patients. There's a lot that can be involved depending on the procedure. I make sure that the hand pieces are working properly for the dentist and run all the lines. And then I place even more barriers. After all that's done, I will grab the dentist and go through our day, let her know what to expect, what patients are coming in, procedures we're doing, make sure there's no surprises for her, make sure we're on the same page team that works great together makes the day go so much smoother. Patient care is very important. There's a lot that we do for the dentist. We take x-rays, we do digital scanning. We spend a lot of time with our patients on our own being the caregivers that they need. I make sure all my patients are educated on everything that we're doing. And then the dentist comes in and we perform procedures together. Knowing what she needs makes her life easier. And after each patient, we change our superwoman capes. Always a fresh cape for every patient that needs our help. Tearing down those rooms is a thorough process. We take all the dirty instruments, we take them to the sterilization area and make sure that the new goes in, the old comes out, we rinse them, bag them, and then we go to check the laundry. So much laundry. And if we're lucky enough to have time to eat, it's a very quick and thorough process. It's more like throwing things down the hatch to keep the machine running. And then we're on to the next patient. Patient care is my favorite thing. I make sure every patient is thoroughly informed and knows what to expect. And then when I walk them up to the front desk, I make sure all their questions have been answered. I hand them off and make sure they know they're in great hands. And then I'm on to phone calls. Always making sure I have time to answer phone calls, voicemails, check on my patients, make sure that they're doing okay and know that I'm here for them. At the end of the day, I smile. I know that I've given my best. I know that all my patients left satisfied knowing they had the best care possible. I make sure all my notes are done. I check on the day for the next day. And then even more laundry. There is always so much laundry. Once all the laundry is done and the office is shut down, now it's time to take an even bigger breath, change my clothes, clock out, and go home knowing that I am ready for the next day to take care of even more patients.
The thing I like most about dental assisting is the relationship you get to build with the patient and you get to be their caregiver. It's more than just assisting the doctor. You get to be that comfort for the patient. You get to educate them and care for them to where at the end of the appointment, they look at you and they thank you before they even thank the doctor. It's the relationship that you get to build with those patients. It's more than you think a dental assistant would have the opportunity to do but you have that opportunity. And if you are passionate about it, you can excel tremendously in it to where your patients, when they call, they'll even ask to talk to you before the doctor because they have that trust, which is so important.